Hello and good morning. All right, so a couple new things since last time. Uh, so I went through and ended up going and grinding, grinding that fight out um, with the general a couple times, and finally got this thing. Actually, going back now, um, uh, it seems like they've got a lot of cool abilities on these, but with how friggin' rare they drop, I believe it took me like 70, um, uh, 70 resets uh, to actually get that thing. Uh, possibly more than that. <clears throat> it's um, less than ideal, let's go ahead and say. So I'm pretty much going to hold off on the other 11 of those things until I, uh, until the uh, guaranteed drop uh, patch comes out, uh, since that's supposed to be coming down the line. Because, um, yeah, it's uh, that would be a very long time to pick up all those things, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get that down the line. So... Now, uh, these all, it's actually kind of funny, you know, that, like, looking at the top-end spears, like, they pretty much all look, uh, <laughs> they pretty much just all look a, a little bit like a bill, but, except for the mentisca, that thing looks like a lance of some description, but, well, the longinus as well, but, uh, yeah, you know, like, the Zephyros, Laxbolt, Pavana, they look kind of like bills. Any dang ways. I, I mean, kind of like a double-sided bill of sorts. Any dang ways, uh, like I was trying to say, uh, there was um, it, it, there was a really cool ability on this. So its ability got changed to uh, gather storms, so it basically makes the weather worse. And it's interesting because uh, it kind of sets up a whole potential for um, like a whole Swedish approach uh, to particular fights. If you've got uh, say some you know soldier units up front that can give everyone true strike, or you have um, uh, you have a bunch of guys with uh, guaranteed hit abilities. Uh, you can potentially just do the whole thing of just making the weather awful, reducing everyone's uh, visibility, and then just, you know, going in and completely laying waste everything. Um, that wouldn't probably work too well for monster units and things like that. Uh, depends. It depends on the situation. But as far as I can tell, there's kind of three stages of, uh, of the weather getting worse. There might only be two. It's kind of hard to tell where exactly it tips over. I haven't gone and extensively tested it, but... It seems like it's 10%, 20%, and 30% uh, for accuracy loss. Um, and yeah, sounds like that's got some potential to be interesting down the line. Uh, oh, and also, the uh, resident nonsense maker over here. Uh, Union's been given the uh, Chrysagrim. Uh, basically, it doesn't say it on the thing here, but apparently it's got a chance to instantly kill. It's got uh, double hit abilities. Um, things friggin' ridiculous. So that's the secondary reason that I went and did that Heaven General fight. Uh, the first was for that spear, uh, the uh, second was this thing, and the third was over where the, wherever the hell he is, Tramos. There we go. So uh, he's gotten improved as well. Uh, where? Here, Kraus. Yeah, he got, um, <laughs> I thought he got the tier 2 version. What? Oh yeah. So it's Arc Smash. Uh, it's basically just tier 2 uh, Lightning Draconic. So that's looking pretty dandy. Uh, it sounds like a lot of the um, locations for those things are going to be swapping around as well. So uh, it's if all things go as it, as it seems to be implied, uh, it doesn't seem like there will be a need to go and, uh, and farm the hell out of San Bronza for some of the stuff that is truly useless by the time you get it. Uh, stuff like Detect. If you're at San Bronza, you are so well and past any point where traps would have any sort of effect on you, it's ridiculous. Uh, granted, the traps are amazing in this version, and I assume they probably originally did it that way because it would, you know, be an end game thing, and the supposed meta by the very end would be, um, that would be stuff where you'd be playing against other people's teams and stuff like that. I think they overestimated how much multiplayer would be going on with this, uh, by quite a bit. But, um, yeah, I would, I would really figure that it's just, you know, probably something like that. Um, it sounds like that stuff will be moved to POTD, um, so hopefully, you know, can use stuff like, uh, teleport and whatever, uh, earlier on. Obviously the shoes got, uh, changed to be something available, uh, earlier on, so you actually have a reason to use them on your newbie units, and then those things can slowly shift over to abilities as, uh, as, you know, the progression moves on. Uh, what else is new here? Uh... Not terribly sure. Oh, right. <clears throat> Forgot to... 
got to move this around, because this thing is amazing. Uh, also, yeah, I still have the old versions. Those are still level 1, by the way. Uh, so, um... The new cursed weapons, those are those replaced uh, the ones that you, those replaced the raw versions, pretty much. So we'll uh, we'll see what those do down the line. Thing has springboard that should be pretty darn useful, and charm on hit. So we get some use out of that. Now on to Coda Prior as a Coda Prior proper. That's the word I'm looking for. Apparently it starts as soon as we go here. So oh, that is some sweet music. Mm -hmm. I guess this is right before they left. <laughs> He's alive. Dude, he wasn't even with us. <laughs> Lampshade that in there. And I guess it's reasonable to assume we stopped here at some point. Other thing, the DLC to keep him alive. Well, yay, that's a bit difficult. You just had gods hanging around? What the hell? <laughs> hint, hint. Crap, that's convenient. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a little bit scary. Although, presumably he'd be kind of squishy. I don't actually remember where... Okay, episode one was Songstress, right? So, let's go to Poted. Actually, wait a second. Um, since he's apparently reporting from hell or whatever. Actually, I need to put a bit of a cut here. One sec. Okay, back. Uh, one thing I forgot to do, actually, was set up this guy right here. I think I... yeah. So, basically went and forgot to get him his uh, skills back. Uh, since, again, I, I went back to a previous file after, um... Uh... God, I, I started grinding this up a little bit and then wound up going to kind of the wrong spot. So, either way, uh, he'll, um... Uh, he'll be in the party relatively soon. Um, uh, what I was planning to do uh, was once uh, once Coda was done, I was going to go through and you know, do, like, a proper... Like look at all the classes and roughly where they are, what they do, and then just kind of update that if um, if they change over time. Uh, since there seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of discussion back and forth, like this, you know, this unit's good for this thing, this unit's good for another thing. So, granted, I'm a bit of an idiot for a lot of things, but I think uh, I think I can come up with some okay stuff. But we'll see how we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, you know, might as well just leave him there. Walking, 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 walking. There was nothing new in the Warren report, so... 
else we want to retreat? Um, and Bortigoon and Poted. Okay, so as I understand it, now we need to go all the way down to floor 115. Um, I do have uh, I do have books for um, well for all of the different sections here. I just want to we'll check something real quick. Also, <laughs> commission of dental accreditation. That's hilarious. I just wanted to double check real quick because I thought there was a zombie um, a zombie vice fight, and I want to see that. Uh, and let's see. Okay, so do the Blackmore battle and obtain the ogre gear. I mean, I was planning to do that already. That's on 115. Let's see. I don't really see the story fights here. Hmm. Let's see, search for Warren. So, in Murden and the Princess ending, got those. I'm in Palace of the Dead. Seriously, this is looking like a RuneScape guide on, like, here's all the stuff that has to have happened so far. Time to go back and grind for something. Okay. Do the thing, do the other thing. Okay. So, apparently need floor 88 and 98. In order to see those... Oh, whoops. Excellently pulled up the search thing, so hopefully that won't do anything. My books. You know, or you could just use the stairs like a reasonable person. Where is that? 50 floors done, then we go all the way to 75. Bye. Okay, so 75. Like one, two, three, four fights to get over there. Now we need this one. Uh, that's 84. Okay. This one's short. This one seems uh, kind of lengthy. Let's see. This way, very short. Possibly short. short. Okay, so... Eighty though. Might drop another Petronel. Okay, no, it's gonna be this one. I'm gonna do the first one. I'm basically gonna go up to twenty minutes and then just kinda see where we go from there. Yeah, so he's now a second laner. She's up front. He's up front. He's up front. I really showed these guys off much. Now, uh, Ozma is also almost to the point of showing off the stinky set. Uh, I'm gonna need some ranged units, though. So, Moos, Yuria, even though she's not actually a ranged unit, but she is kind of a ranged unit. And then the two Necro Wizards, or the Crossbowmancers. I should maybe take her out. Him out, but two casters there instead. Yeah, because I keep forgetting that Rudlam's amazing now, so that's something to look into. And... Kamos. I want to see how good he'll be with all of his lightning stuff now. Should be really good with it. Okay. Important and dirty map. There, five over there. Put these four first. Fantastic. Great start. I have to say, I really, really, really like the idea of a crossbow mage. Just something that, uh, like arranged, uh, casters or something... Honestly, if you ask me, pretty well, um... Pretty well tied in with uh, with uh, tactics over in general. 
This is something that I, have, I had a tendency to do quite a bit with um, uh, with the casters and uh, KOL. Usually just have them sit in the back and then whenever they weren't able to cast stuff, I would just, you know, have them go pop out an arrow. Granted, I didn't have a very good grasp with the mechanics at the time, I just kind of put whatever on whoever and... Usually, it actually turned out pretty okay. Also, man, Uria is just crazy good. Like, <laughs> she is just completely blown it out of the water most of the time now. Okay, he's gonna be awesome in a little bit. Warrior might be dead soon. I'm gonna think of it. Crap, I don't. Uh, wait, no, retreat is still an option. Right. I was gonna say I don't have any way to keep him standing or keep people standing, but it's not a problem. Darn. He doesn't double hit anymore. I need to replace it. I get petrified, I suppose. Don't need you taking moves. I really want to test out this, so I'm going to be able to next round, because, uh, yeah, um, freaking 200 TP out of nowhere, and, you know, basically getting a, a kill move right away is preposterously high damage. So, we'll see how that goes. And all things considered... Seems like uh, it'll probably come to the into the position where having um, EP max on him is going to be something incredible. And have this guy stand here, kind of hold off the rest while uh, these guys uh, deal with uh, the remaining two dragons. I know I say a lot. <laughs> sorry. Nothing more to that. Just sorry. <laughs> Time it would have been useful for him to get hit by something. Welp. You aquatize somebody. Or just sludge bind. Fair enough. Keep forgetting you can teleport. It's so good. So friggin' good. There's actually a point in getting them now. By the way, when I say that, I, I, I'm aware their stats were slightly higher and they could have done other stuff and all that, but base game, the fact that they didn't have their, you know, they didn't have their teleportation anymore, they were just slightly better and they had a really restricted pool of abilities they could use. Uh, seriously, I saw absolutely no point whatsoever. Um... It's just, they had to be ground up for nothing. They had obvious shortcomings of just generally being kind of kind of slow and chunky and limited and just about everything they did. So, I don't know. I've been told they were pretty good. I just happen to disagree with that. Okay, 129. That to 14. Okay. Very good. So... Chamos is fantastic at get around, getting around defenses now. Also, I forget which uh, fighting game it was where a guy does that kind of backward stance and fires lightning from their backhand, but that's exactly what that was. Everybody get on the ring. It should probably negate any danger from that guy on the left, and just let it, the remaining characters completely mash on this. Ooh, actually, no, never mind. We have an opportunity. Really smash it by this ninja thing. Get checked. Like help checking in, sir. Apparently, the answer is yes. Okay. Blood price. 
Dang. Okay, so never mind. It's Wait, huh? how does that work? I thought it was like a hard 200. Um, or is it blood pride? Okay, sacrifice half of. No, 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 no. Reset that. Let's take a look. It's supposed to be plus 200. Oh, it's because he's maxing out. That's what it is. Now. Okay, so 236. I'm going to do that now, but. You no, know, Bear Claw. That's not even. Not better at all. Basically, what I'm thinking is. Um. When it comes to that, uh, if you've got, um, what's it, uh, Last Resort activated, and get, first turn I uh, do uh, Last Resort, and then second turn... Uh... Okay, and never mind, I have to go put a pause right here. 